Yeah, so ask him. Okay. <laughs> He's a little shy. Your shoes off. Um, he wants to know if you slept and if you did sleep, how you slept. If you slept standing up. Um, the first night on orbit, we had a. Each of us had a sleep compartment that was about the size of a telephone booth, but lying on its side. Now it turns out that in space, there's no such thing as up and down. Up and down just does not exist. If I'm this way and somebody's this way, I don't think he's upside down. He doesn't think I'm upside down. If I'm here and the Earth is there, I don't feel upside down. That's the Earth's problem, not mine. So up and down just doesn't mean anything in space. So your sleep compartment, as I say, is about the size of a telephone booth. Now, it's packaged lying on its side, but that doesn't mean anything. Now, the first night in space, I slipped with some bungee cords across my body to hold me against a soft surface that felt like a mattress. And I did that because I thought that I probably would sleep uh, more, that would be more feeling like sleeping on Earth. And it worked out fine. But the second night, I tried to do it without the bungee cords. Now take your hand like this, where there's no hair, and just touch it. Touch your hand, just the slightest touch that you can just barely feel. Now that's how hard you have to hit the wall to bounce off. Because see, you, weigh, you don't weigh anything. You're just like a balloon. And so you just barely touch the wall, you bounce off. And if you don't concentrate, you can't even feel it. So the second night, I just bounced around uh, in this crew, crew compartment all night long. Okay, what was the question? How many years did you stay in college? Oh, I was in college a long time. I got a bachelor's degree that's the normal first degree you get in college at the University of Utah. And then I got a master's degree and a doctor's degree. And I did even some post-doctoral study uh, at the University of Cal uh, Alaska because I was studying the Aurora, the Northern Lights. And so I was in college for several years more than just the normal four. Most people get through college in four years. I was there about eight. Did you hear that? Eight years. Do you think you can handle that? But it was a lot of fun because I was studying some very interesting things. Do you know what the northern lights are? What? Up in the, near the North Pole, they're lights that shimmer in the sky. These are called northern lights, and they're caused by particles streaming in from space, hitting the Earth's atmosphere and making the air glow. And I was doing some scientific research on the aurora. I took the first high time resolution pictures of the aurora from space and made some discoveries that had never been made before. So it was a very interesting thing to do some research on something as interesting and pretty as the Northern Lights and make a discovery that the scientists had not discovered before. So even though I was in college, I was having a lot of fun. College for me was a lot of fun. <laughs> How fast did the rocket go? 17,500 miles an hour. Whoa! That's <laughs> fast. It's faster than That's a roller really coaster. Long, isn't it? Way faster. You do really well in school. If you're a really a good student, then you've got just as good a chance as anybody else. So you've got to remember to do good in school, even on the tough days when you don't want to do your homework. <laughs> Good looking at more and more homework every day. Picked in school? Yeah. It was physics. What now, do you know what physics is? That was what? mommy's favorite too. <laughs> what? 
physics is how things work, how levers work, and how gas expands, and, and all those fun things. So it was really exciting. I enjoyed that very much. I know a type of math. It's a really fun math. It's like math and the world put together. What? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to ask? Tyler wants to know. Um, a lot of people, um, we're first generation LDS. A lot of people say that when you get smart, and especially when you go out into space, is was it harder or easier to believe in God once you got in oh, space? To see the magnificence of the universe, to me, uh, supported everything I, I knew in, in church. Uh, it strengthened my testimony. It did not weaken my testimony one bit. See, pretty cool, huh? Yep. Yeah. Or he learned the easier it was. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's why we go to church every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like an astronaut, doesn't he? I'd like to sign this for him. Sure. You can use the hymn book over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 bye. I was an astronaut. That's a picture of our going into space. I was sitting in that spacecraft right there. When we got on orbit, we took our picture. There were four of us on the gold team and three on the silver team. Now on Earth, you can't take a picture like that. Some of them are standing on their heads, wouldn't they? In space, this was the silver team, and we were the gold team. But up in space, you just float, and so yeah. these men could be floating that way, and it didn't even bother them. No. They felt like they were right side up. And then there's some information <laughs> about uh, my uh, background. Some of the things that... Uh, Pictures don't get older, just we do. Yeah. <laughs> this is for you, Tyler. You get to keep that. What do you say? That's for you. That's awesome. What do you see?